Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitou and in this quick tip I'm gonna demystify the band modifier. More precisely the simple deform modifier with the band option in it. So to show you that let me create a curve. I'm gonna use the path one and I'm gonna create here a simple deform with the band option and I'm gonna put it to 180. So now I have this. So how it, how, how it works exactly? When I start 3D modeling, it took me quite some time to figure out, but in fact, it is really simple. You just have to take in consideration the X and the Y axis, and the bend option will deform the mesh toward the Y axis like this, when the X axis is tangent horizontally. So simply, if you want to deform the mesh like this, you're gonna have to have the x-axis tangent like this, horizontally. And if you want to deform it this way, you're simply gonna have to change the axis. Let me put it to normal so you're gonna see. So you're gonna have to have the x-axis tangent vertically to be able to deform it this way. So once you understand that, you will be able to plan in advance the use of the simple deform to, to obtain the, the form you want. So let me show you that in a quick example. I'm going to create a sphere for, uh, out of the a plane. So for that, let me rotate this in edit mode. So the origin is going to stay the same in object mode. And I'm going to just put that up and subdivide this because I love to have my origin at the base of the object. Let me smooth that and I'm going to create the simple deform with the burn option to 180. So now we have the same behavior. So if I want now to bend this in this direction, I'm going to have to use another simple deform, but I I will have to change the axis origin. So for that, I'm going to use another object here to be able to do that. So first, let me copy this and put it to zero for now. And I'm going to create an empty. This is what I'm going to use to, to, to change the axis origin. So let me select it now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change I'm going to lock uh, um, the y-axis and if I put it to normal mode, as you're going to see, the axis change. So I have the tangent vertically now and if I now increase the angle of the deformation, you're going to see, it's going to bend the way I want in that direction. So let me put it to 180. And now I have this. Let me put the wire. And you have it. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward once, once you understand how it behaves exactly and you can create a different form. So now let's have some fun with that. If I want to create a sphere, all I have to do is to uh, just duplicate to have an, another plane and increase the second simple deform to 360 so I'm going to have a full sphere. So for that what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an array and I'm going to put it on top and change to 1. So let me show you. So I have it duplicate on the z-axis. Change to 1. And what I'm going to do now I'm just going to increase to 360 and I have a sphere, I have a perfect sphere. And, uh, and this is really cool because it, it can allow you to, to create a, um, a specific form and after that if you want to, to bend it you just have to, to do a combination of simple deform to have the mesh you want. So let me show you that in a quick example. What I'm going to do, I'm going to 
let me duplicate that. So I have eight here. So if I duplicate this two times, for example, even three times. Okay, I'm going to invert the selection and remove this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that here. I divide this, so it's going to be 64. Let me put it here. Okay, and I'm going to copy that again. And I'm going to put 64 here. So now I have this. I have my, my sphere, as you can see, which much more subdivision. And I can have fun with it by what I have to do here. Let me disable this. So I have this one. And I can subdivide it again. For example, I can do that like this and subdivide it. And if I create a subdivision, oh, I forgot to merge. I'm going to merge everything. Let me merge everything. Okay, so as you can see, we can have this kind of effects just by working on a, a, a tiny part of the mesh like this. As you can see, it's quite slow. Let me just deserve that. So I could just modify these parts and by uh, duplication and uh, a good use of the simple deform, I can create a, a really complex shape. So, so this is it. Is it's quite simple to understand, and after that you can expand it in, in really hardcore geometry. So I hope you like it, and uh, see you soon.